So I was wandering around getting ready to do my next quest and I noticed that I have 60 combat and actually over a thousand total. So we can now unlock the Wars Retreat. So we go in here, touch Wars Insignia. This is the PVM hub of uh, RS3. The Max Guild also allows something very similar, but the Max Guild uh, requires a Max Cape, which is 99 in every skill as a bare minimum. All right, so basically you have a current bosses. So the newest boss to come out in the game will get their own portal here. You click on this, it'll take you straight to them. You have your Reaper assignment portal. So if you have a Reaper assignment, our current Reaper assignment is Croesus. We can go into that portal and it will take us directly to Croesus. And then you have two other portals that you can attune to a boss of your choice. So this takes us straight to the gates of Croesus. There's Croesus in there. Fortunately, we don't have the teleport. So we're going to have to teleport back the uh, peasant way. But we will eventually get the teleport directly to War's Retreat. I think we need a single boss KC. So we might actually have it unlocked. Because I have killed Croesus a couple times in Massing Worlds. All right, so we're back. Two portals that we can attune ourselves. A crystal here that regenerates your prayer, your slayer points, and resets all the cooldowns on your abilities. And adrenaline crystals that can charge you up to 100 adrenaline before you go and do bossing. Those are unlocked in the shop here. This is War. His shop requires, for the hub teleport, you need 10 kills. So I need to go kill seven more bosses. For the portal teleport, one of these portals here unlocked. Actually, you get one automatically. You can attune the second one at 100 kills. Uh, the war's altar at 200 boss kills cooldown resets and all that at 500 kc and then the adrenaline's uh ad adrenaline crystals at a thousand kc so yeah easy unlocks you also get wars of uh, uh marks of war excuse me you can use them to unlock the vampirism aura the dark magic aura stuff like that this is a consumable resource once you spend it spend five grand it takes it out of the total boss kills once you get to 100, uh, 10, you get that. Once you get to exactly 100, you get that. You don't uh, don't lose those 10 when you redeem these unlocks. And then you also have consumables, which can reset your auras. Uh, I think it's as many times as you can a day. Yep, just reset your auras and then life refresh. Later on, we're going to get these things called signs of life. Basically, if you do go to zero HP, pops you back up to 50% health real quick and it doesn't count as a death. So you have a chance to eat, but it has a one hour cooldown. That can reset the cooldown, so those I suspect are going to be quite helpful for us. But this is War's Retreat. We need to go and pick up seven more boss kills. I'll probably just go to the Dagonoth Kings or something similar. Maybe Croesus and just go do some more mass worlds. And uh, we'll unlock the teleport. And then we'll be able to teleport straight here for no cost. And the bank chest is right here. Super handy. But yeah, I thought I should tell you guys about it. And uh, yeah, I'll be back when we get to the next quest. Right, moving on to the next quest. We're going to be doing Beneath the Cursed Tides, which basically is the uh, old tutorial, which is pretty cool. Welcome to Tutorial Island. And this, this brings back some memories. <laughs> it's the lady that taught you how to fish and light fires. Oh man, I'm coming back. So this brings us down to the uh, cooking guy. Ah, uh, this is the event that you unlock. This is called the uh, Oyster. You do it for uh, farming and fishing experience every month and a role at the uh, rewards forum clues like the casket rolls so you can get third age you get dyes you can get all kinds of stuff it's pretty cool but you're not going to but you can normally you cook a loaf of bread here but we had to season some uh, seaweed instead it's when it went underwater next up i believe was the priest who also taught you how to make friends in the game i think and then last or maybe that was up there maybe i'm skipping a step actually Oh, that's right. This is how you learn how to make friends, and then you go downstairs and do the mining. I remember. Oh, man. It's been a long time since I did this. Here we are in the mines. Here's the mining instructor. That's where Vanica used to be. He used to live in there. He used to kill a rat. Oh, man. <laughs> Such flashbacks. I'm guessing Vanica's just holding his breath down here. We have to kill some rats. Nope, he can just talk. Wait, I can too, so I guess the... Was it probably did something to us when I wasn't paying attention? So in this mini game, we have to like click all the stuff that pops up on the screen, killing rats, because uh, you can't use your weapons down here. Instead of normal fighting, we're just kind of like blindly fighting rats. Like they all died. Look at us go. Eh. Remove the blindfold. It's a lot of dead rats. Oh me. The bank has turned corrupt, and we ended up just robbing the place. <laughs> Oh my god, look at these names. Nemo, Betty, and Makey Carp. 
This is the friends list. This is us learning about our friends list. But she just gave us a list of friends. I think we have to go find the fish outside. We're shooting bubbles at chickens to make them float. <laughs> Normally you'd have to airstrike these chickens and you'd be able to get a bunch of free runes. And... Oh man, the nostalgia is great on this quest. There we go. Float away, chickens! Oh, Hector's not happy with us. I don't know who Hector is, but that's okay. Alright, it's, it's uh, Harry Potter right here. We got Harry, we got, uh, oh shit. Oh, Rappel, you're gone. Oh, I think I did it. Okay, so I, I literally just have to click on them and they get like bubbled away. But yeah, we're helping her to force them away. He's trying to turn uh, Vanica into one of these crustaceans as well. And then uh, the curse will be complete, but she's here to stop him. She was like the last uh, student of Wizard Tarova. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> Keep misclicking though. Look at us go. Oh, get out of here. Be gone. Thank goodness we learned this bubble magic. Let's go. Avada Kedavra has ass. You have lost. We did it. I must put a stop to him. Okay. Stomp head. And now we've unlocked the D&D. &D. And a bunch of experience too, which is nice. 10,000 combat experience. Probably chuck that into like attack or something, but... Alright. Fishing lane. Don't mind if I do. Cooking lane. Don't mind if I do. Mail lane. Wait. Oh shit, never mind. I think we'll chuck on herbal. It's our herbal at the moment. It's reasonably high. It's 39. Let's get some like prayer pots, maybe? Yeah, look at that. 42. Alright. We got lock. I notice I always instinctively go for like a teacher approach when I'm doing videos. I wonder if maybe I should go for just like a playing the game and just assume you guys know what's going on approach. But let's dive down here. We can do this once a month. A really good experience for a starter. And then at the beginning of the month or whenever you check it again, uh, you also get a piece of loot, which can be quite nice. But yeah, the experience is like nothing at my levels because we're low levels. But on my other accounts, I get like 9,000 farming experience every time I click this thing. It's pretty crazy how high it is. Hey, look, 1100 milestone. But yeah, I'll get this out of the way and head on to our next quest. Uh, our next quest is probably going to be maybe Dragon Slayer, Mage Arena. Go get some 60 magic. That'd be nice. But, all right, let's do that. All right, so we're going to make our way to 55 magic. We're currently sitting at 51, so we're very close. I'm just going to kill these ogres. Uh, I'll get the bones, uh, bone crusher, so I can crush all the bones and get some free prayer experience. But I have to get my uh, main account to do that, so I'll bring you guys back once I get this uh, level requirement. I think I'm actually very close to another level. Yeah, 49 experience off. There we go. The beginning of the grind. 52, three levels to go. I will bring you back. So with the help of my mate Hiram, I quickly jumped on my main and I carried myself through some uh, ED2 token farming. We got ourselves 135,000 tokens. So with that, we can purchase the Bone Crusher, which will help us to bury all the bones that drop without us having to do it. And we'll pick up the Charming Imp, which will collect all the imps on the ground. There you go, speak of the devil. There he is. Uh, he's here to pick up. I told him he should pick up the uh, Ring of Vigor. This one here. This will be one of our... Soon we'll get the Ring of Vigor. Uh, Requires 62 DG, sorry. I'm gonna go train my magic now, like I said, uh, to 55 probably, no, to 60. We're gonna go get 50, yeah, 60 magic. We need 60, we need to get our hands on the Staff of Guthix, and while we do that, I'm gonna do some editing. So I will be back uh, once we have 60. We're gonna be training at the Yanil Ogits. I will let you know if anything cool drops. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, we finally got up to the point where I have fixed all of my recording software. So from now on, everything should be in the same format and not as janky. But I have more footage for this episode. The next episode is a clean, fresh start with all the new footage. So I'm sorry for the abrupt ending. We did get 60 magic, believe it or not, without dying. So uh, in the next one, we will be moving on to a thieving grind and I will see you there. Thanks for watching. Sorry for the jank. It should come right towards the end hopefully this series never becomes famous and the shame stays hidden hopefully maybe i don't know
I gotta talk for two more seconds to get to 10 minutes. All right, bye.